Hello and welcome back. Picking up where we left off, we're going to go to Affiliate Options and Your Affiliates. This is where you can access a list of everyone who is requested to promote your products. This can be searched in a number of ways with the pull down menus here. You can pull down a list of the names of all of your affiliates, no matter what product they've requested. You can pull down a list of your product names and select for affiliate or search for affiliates that have selected a specific product to promote. You can pull down only delayed commission or instant commission or denied affiliates. You can display up to 250 rows and you can put specific keywords in if you're looking for, um, say, graphics, any products that have graphics in the name. You could put the keyword in here. You can pick multiple things to narrow down your searches even farther. Um, with the results, you can change or edit individual affiliates so that they have different commissions, different statuses, etc. So what you'll see on this page is a list of all of your results. If you just come to the page from the menu, you will see all of your affiliates, I believe in the date that they were added. You can sort by clicking the column head of any of these. What you'll see here is a checkbox for selecting for bulk actions. You'll see the name of the affiliate as well as their affiliate ID. This is their JVZoo account number. You'll have the um, envelope here to click to send a message to that particular affiliate. You'll have the name of the product that they've selected and whether or not that product is active or inactive. You'll have their status, whether it's instant, delayed, or denied. You'll have the commission percentage, and this will normally be the percentage that you've set for the individual product. You can give affiliates special commission payouts, and I'll show how to do that. You'll have the date added, and you'll have any notes that they included with their affiliate request. Now suppose for this affiliate who happens to be myself, you're, you will show up as your own affiliate as well on this list. Suppose I wanted to give a higher commission. I would click the green edit button on that particular line for the product and affiliate that's being changed. When you click the edit button, it will pop open a window here that has the name of the product, the payout, and here it's set to the default payout of 50%. Suppose I wanted to give 60%. That's where I would put 60 here, and then the affiliate will get 60% for anything that they sell. I can also change their status to instant, delayed, or denied, and I can give them a custom sales page. Suppose this is an affiliate that wanted to do a private promo on your product, and you set up a sales page for them that says, special offer for friends of, and then the affiliate name at the top. This is where you would put the actual sales page that their traffic will get sent to. And then when they give their buyer's list or use in an advertisement or whatever, their affiliate link to your product, rather than those clicks being sent to your regular sales page, they'll be sent to the custom sales page, which has a link entered right here. Then you click Save, and that information will be updated for that affiliate. That's basically all you need to know here. You can also click the green Auto-Approved Affiliates list for the list of auto-approved affiliates, or the Banned Affiliates list. These are two separate sections that you can also access from Affiliate Options, right here, Auto-Approved and Banned. Since um, they're on this page, let's go straight to those. We'll cover Affiliate Sync afterward. Auto-approved affiliates is your list of affiliates that you've clicked the auto-approve button for on their first request. Um, that is the All button on the Affiliate Request page. All of these affiliates are my auto-approved affiliates who will be automatically approved for instant commissions when they request to be approved on future products of mine. There's a red button next to each one of these. If I click the red button, it will remove the auto approval. 
Up here you can search for the name of a particular auto-approved affiliate if you have a very long list. That's pretty much all that there needs to be covered on this page. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same with band affiliates. If you go to the band affiliates, these are affiliates that will automatically get denied if they request to promote any of your future products. You can ban an affiliate simply by typing their name into this box. For example, I'll put my friend Anthony Aries. I'm not going to ban him, but we'll use him as an example. And then click Search. You'll see the list of search results. If I click the green Ban Affiliate button, Anthony Aries will be banned and he can't promote any of my products. The affiliate, as it says here, will be notified of your decision to ban them. They'll get a message through JVZoo's system saying that they have been banned from promoting any of your products. That's pretty much what you need to know for banning affiliates. Let's go to the last section, Affiliate Sync. Now, Affiliate Sync allows you to automatically approve affiliates before they request to promote your products. For example, if you have a product that you know 50 affiliates have requested to promote and you want all of them to be approved for your new product, you would select your old product from this drop down here and then select your new product from this drop down here. That way it would say copy all affiliates from your old product to the new product. If you have given affiliates custom commissions like I showed how to do on the um, your affiliates page at the start of this video. If you've given custom commissions and you don't want those custom commissions to carry over into the new product approval, you can click the ignore custom commissions button here. Clicking sync affiliates will automatically approve everyone who is approved for this product onto this one. So that is a way that you can then notify your affiliates, hey, I've automatically, uh, I've automatically approved you for this. You can start promoting it right now. That covers the affiliate options page. I think the last thing I should talk about is how to know what approval you should give for affiliate requests. I promised I would give some tips on that. Um, basically, only give instant approval to people that you know or that have very big uh, JVZoo history and you've at least heard of the name. If you see someone requesting your products and you see that they have um, 5,000 plus sales as an affiliate, and those are sales that have cleared the refund period and they're quote unquote safe sales, you know that they have good history with JVZoo. And especially if it's someone whose name you've heard, then you can probably feel safe in, in giving them instant commissions. Otherwise, put them on delayed. Now, if you see people from what I tend to call problem countries, and you'll, you'll learn what these countries are. I don't want to list out the countries that I personally feel are problem countries because that could be prejudicial. It's just based on my experience. Those countries, and if, especially if they have low sales and high refund rates, you'll want to put them on at least delayed and maybe denial. I personally deny people um, who have over 15% refund rates because I don't want a high refund percentage on my products. That decision is all up to you. So use the information that you find on the affiliate request page on the chart here, use the country they're from, how long they've been a member, and the number of units that they've sold, and their refund percentage, if you're not sure what to do. If it doesn't smell right, don't approve them, deny them. Also watch for things that just don't match up. If they have very low sales, but they say, I've sold a thousand items in their notes here or they say, I have 5,000 people on my buyer list, they should have higher sales. That pretty much covers affiliates. We'll be back in the next video.